Hi, oh, hi folks, so it's going to hunt for a few seconds, let's keep. Right, I'll wet the paper all over, it's Fabriano, not Fabriano, I've just, been, I've just done that for Patreon, on Patreon, on uh, Fabriano. This is uh, the great uh, Saunders Waterford, 90 pound knot, these are knots hot pressed. It's in between the smooth and the rough. Okay, colours, usual colours. Uh, right, let's get a bit of a warm. I'm going to do a sort of a, a bit of the walking bits on the River Wandle along the track that we, we follow, Route 2020, on the London Cycling Network. We only do like half of it, too old. But it's getting too cold as well. Look, I, uh, don't know why that's doing that. Anyway, it's a lovely, lovely day today. Cold, so let's. let's just, uh, put a little bit of a cloud. Let's give that a try. Then we'll carry on. So headphones off. Still going out of focus, but it does this from time to time. But not much I can do about it. Um, right, I'm going to put in a bit of a, a, a muddy footpath. So, burnt umber, bit of burnt umber, bit of Payne's grey, bit of red. Um, I mean, we do a bit of a muddy bit on the wandle. Uh, we'll put in some, some trees, some autumn trees. So let's get a nice bit of autumn -y colour. A burnt umber. A little bit of yellow in that, I think. Well, just very gentle touch with the ache. Well, a little bit of a, a hill there. And we'll put in a bit of uh, bluer. Oh, let's get a bit of bit of distance. Look, just just touching the the paper very very lightly. Right, okay, let's go back to the old
Oh, it's a bit of green in it. Now you do get a lot of green in in these trees. Just a very sort of rushed one. I'll try to do this as impression as I can. Um, we've got a bit of a hill. Um, this is a bit of the uh, of the bike ride along the track through the, what we call Peggington farmland. It's not farm now. It's um, it's a rough track that goes past a. A uh, fairly new incinerator. You've heard me mention this before. Nobody wanted, but everybody got. Right now, we have some good shadow. I've got a good, good rich dark green now, if I can. Okay. Let's see if I can uh, scrape a bit out of that one. Okay, give that a try. Well, I'll give it a re clip. Now, this path is it, just like a cycle. Dog walker's path, not a place you'd want to be at night. There's no light down there at all. A few bird hides, when you follow this round, you go to the side of some of the uh, lakes which were quarries. Oh, it's very, very nice. Got a bit, bit of texture in there. Let's do a bit of rigor work now. A lot of uh, trees along here, but not so uh, great trees. You cherry plums, sloes, elderflower. It's all very, very lovely. It's just a bit of bit of blue, dark blue.
Right, let's get a bit of texture in there. There's a bit of a hill there. Just so I get an impression of rough, rough stuff. Right, I'm going to use the oh, same height. No, I won't. I'll use, uh, use my medium height. I just want to give a bit of impression of, of rough ground along here. Uh, uh, a bit of bit of wiggle work and Let's have a bird. We do get some birds over here. Okay, I'll sign that with No, that's too thick. I mean too too weak. Put mounts on there on. Uh, okay, we got a couple of swap logo one for Patreon, one for you guys. Uh, mounts. Nearly forgot what I was doing there. Eh? Right, there we are. Very, very simple. Countryside in a town. Where I live in Wellington, we're, we're sort of, we're class of Surrey, but uh, we're in the Greater London area, so we have a London postcode. Uh, but we have, do have a lot of parks, beautiful parks. Uh, Beddington Park, Grove Park, Carshalton Park. Uh, Oaks Park, absolutely beautiful place that is, We're near Banstead Wood, 
So we're on the edge of, we're in Surrey, but on the edge of, of, uh, sort of manic manicured landscape. But this area used to be a, a farm. It's flat with a few little hills, but, but I think they were created, um, I don't know why they were created. But I put it in because it, it's, there is a, a hill where we pedal along here. There's a bit of a bank here but it's flat on this side, then we've got a railway on that side, uh, the, uh, all, the, all the lakes on the other side. It will be open to the public at some stage, uh, when they, they get rid of the fencing, when it's all landscaped. But there's this damn great incinerator plumped on it, which really destroys a lovely flat landscape somewhat. But just my... Uh, Luddite opinion of this sort of progress. But anyway, I hope you like this one. Uh, it's just sorry about the uh, in out of the camera, the focus. But there we are, a, a typical bit of the River Wandle, that, or Wandle Valley. The River Wandle itself is, um, well, it's down here somewhere because there's all these, all these uh, water, the gravel pits. Them, and we pick it up as it sort of meanders its way through Mitcham and then on to Wandsworth and into the Thames. But anyway, we make the most of what, what we've got, so I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.